What you're seeing here is version 2 of Tome's in-browser client in action during game testing. I'll briefly point out some of the newer, more important features in this version. First, it looks kind of nice. We've got high resolution parchment on a high res wooden table background and styled text which is not fixed width. This alone is a big step away from old school clients which often looks something like this. Yikes. One of the annoyances of simpler clients is that the text is always scrolling and it does so in leaps and bounds. This makes reading text difficult because it's always moving and in a game that's all about text that really hurts the overall user experience. Tome mitigates that problem in several ways. First, the description of your surroundings, including which directions you can travel, is always on screen, so you never have to scroll back to remind yourself. Second, as new text arrives, it scrolls gradually onto the screen, making it easier for you to keep your place if, you, if you're already reading something. This video makes it look a little choppy, but that's just the video sampling rate getting in the way. Third, text which isn't about in-game events, like error messages, hints, and instructions, do not scroll the window at all. Instead, those messages appear one at a time in a reserved area just above your command line, then quietly fade away when they're no longer important. Finally, the server sends information about combat in big chunks instead of piecemeal, so that players aren't constantly struggling to read incoming text while more arrives. Here, you can see the benefit with only two combatants. Just imagine, five or ten. This client can also handle any number of color and style combinations. You can see, for example, that the area title is much bigger than the area description. We're not limited to 16 colors and can even swap between fixed width and variable width text as needed. A great game with a bad client is a real tragedy, so it's important that Tome delivers a client which doesn't obscure the server awesome. Our version 2 is already a huge leap from version 1, and there are many improvements already in planning, including hyperlinks for help content and player references, a visual representation of travel options, hotkeys for travel, command line autocomplete, and more decorative elements.